It takes time to catch a fish. I've caught a fish. Holly, grab the net. Get ready to catch it. Well done, Daddy. Wow, it's big. It's a whopper, all right. And I caught it. It's only a little tiddler. It must be the biggest fish in the lake. It's too small. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. I've seen bigger. Much, much bigger. Really? Really. It was many years ago when I first met Big Bad Barry. Big Bad Barry? Who's that? Only the biggest, hugest, most giganticest fish the world has ever seen. No! It was a dark and stormy night. I was out sailing in my favourite boat, Hilda, when I first saw Big Bad Barry. I knew straight away I had to catch him. I had to be the fisherman who took him home for the biggest fish dinner in history. I tried several different baits before I found what Barry liked. Cheese. Cheese? Cheese. I put a bit of cheese on the line and Barry was hooked straight away. The only thing was, he was stronger than my old boat Hilda was. Bad Barry dragged my poor boat Hilda all over the lake. And when he'd finished that, he ate her. He ate Hilda? It sounds horrid. It was. So you built Bunty to replace Hilda? No. First, there was Doris. Then Peggy. There was Abigail, Fifi and Trixabel. Not forgetting Sabrina, Vicky and Miss Boo Boo. Barry ate them all. <gasps> I tried to catch Barry so many times. I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! <laughs> Barnaby Elf is the winner. Hooray! Oh, no! Ben's come last. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Hooray! Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie... Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> this is fun. <laughs> a spider. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. <gasps> ho, 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 ho. Happy elf joke day. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Mr. Elf. I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Oh, oh, hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like 
like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. <laughs> No, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh. I haven't got time for this. <laughs> I haven't got time for this. Silly old fool. Silly old fool. Oh. I don't think Nanny found that funny. I thought you said she liked jokes. She does. Let's try another one. Very well. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes. But when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. She's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. <laughs> she looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <coughs> Yee <-haw! laughs> I don't like playing games today. What nonsense. You love playing games. Have fun! I wish those cakes didn't take so long to bake. Me too. I suppose we might as well try playing a game. OK. How about tag? I like tag. All right. But you must play fair. No magic. OK. You're it. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> You're running too fast. I can't help it. Elves are good at running fast. And I'm an elf. It's not fair. Fairies can't run as fast as elves. OK, I'll hop on one leg. Can't catch me. <laughs> You're still going too fast. OK, I'll stand still. Got you. <laughs> My turn. Can't catch me. 
<laughs> I'm going to catch you. No, you're not. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> That's cheating. We said no magic. I'm not using magic. I'm just flapping my fairy wings. <laughs> it's not fair. Elves don't have wings. I'll never catch you. All right. I won't use my wings. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy says frogs belong in water. So, let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, blop. <laughs> there you go, froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <coughs> ah. Hi, Holly. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look! They're following us! Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done! Enter! Hello, Princess Holly. I'm not Princess Holly. I am Queen Holly today. I've got no time for these fun and games. I've come to collect Ben for school. Oh, Wait, Ben. Mummy and Daddy are away today, so I am in charge of the whole kingdom. Is this true, Nanny Plum? I'm afraid so. And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes, it's the law. Because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> oh dear, the children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. Hooray! 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 What's that noise? What shall we do all day? Uh, play games! Yes, you've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly! Hmm, that's confusing. 
Roses are large. And the sky is big. But how do you mix them together? It can't be done. It's silly. That's why it's a riddle, me lovely. It's a puzzle you have to solve. The roses are red and the sky is blue. Mix them together and you get purple. It must be buried under the purple flower. Aha! Very good! Very clever! Come on, Ben. Let's dig for the treasure. Yes, elves are very good at digging. And we're elves. <laughs> dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, 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 dig. Dig ho, dig, dig ho, dig, dig. Oh, what's that? It's another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Ugh. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, Gaston. Well, we think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> Ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. Don't go to bed till the fire is out. And don't go to bed with a carrot on your head. <laughs> That's silly. Ben, Holly, you get in the tent and go to sleep. Mr Gnome, you have to go home. But we're having fun. Elf camping is not meant to be fun. Bedtime is at six o'clock, not the middle of the night. Oh, I know a song about the middle of the night. Would you like to hear it? No! I'll take that as a yes. In the middle of the night, the stars twinkle bright. Rinky-dinky-doo, rinky-diddly-dee. Dooby-dooby-doo. <laughs> All together now. Rinky dinky doo, rinky dinky dee, dooby dooby doo, dibbly dibbly dee. Time for bed. It was lovely meeting you, Mr. Gnome, but now we need to get some sleep. <laughs> oh, yes. A good night's sleep is very important. Rinky dinky doo. Stop! Would you like me to stop? Yes! And please go! Would you like me to go? Yes! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs> Mr. Gnome is funny. He is silly. Yes, really silly. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good, Good night. night. <sighs> <gasps> it's the gnome. He's come back to eat our breakfast. <laughs> oh, a mole. <laughs> oh, it's eating our washing. Shoo. We can still build sandcastles. Yes. <laughs> Feeling good. No, don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look, the aliens love building sandcastles. <laughs> Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah! Magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand. Remember, it wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. 
Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly. Magic jelly. Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Whoa! What's happening? Yeah. Nanny Plum has flooded the Sea of Tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. <laughs> jelly! But... Oh, it's so pretty. Look! Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat. By Neptune, you're right. Well spotted, Ben. Oh, for a moment, I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho, ho! Now I can get me treasure back. Let's get it and go. I don't like it down here. I love it. All the fish and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad. Is it Barry? It is. It's big, bad. Barry. He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh dear, he's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr. Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr. Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy. What a pong. Where are we? Look, me ship. There. Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-up swans in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Sissel, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the two of hearts. Your card is the two of hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um was it a good idea, putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. 
Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousy, mousy! Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, uh, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, uh, actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magicked the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. <laughs> ben! Oh, well... I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, wand, what shall we do today? Yes, let's make a pretty hat. Abracazat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye-bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practising my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic Ben a hat. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. <coughs> Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <coughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong, Den. Hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. <laughs> Princess Holly. What have you forgotten? Uh. Your wand. Where is it? Oh, I don't seem to have it. These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. <laughs> A chicken's escaped! <gasps> Catch that chicken! <laughs> 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 Chickens escape! Whoa!
Follow that chicken. Clockwork has wound down. Quick, Ollie, let's wind it up. Oh, hello. Will somebody give me an egg? Now! <laughs> Goodness me! <laughs> Lally Plum, I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. <coughs> now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby, baby dolly. dolly! Baby Dolly! Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! They've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum is lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben. <gasps> this is heavy. All together, push. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Elf speaking Mum, it's me, Ben Oh, Ben, you sound different Yes, we need a bit of help Please come quick Righto She's on her way Thank goodness I wonder what the matter can be <laughs> Baby Plum is lots of fun. Bath me, please. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Hello, Poppy. Can you tell me where the big children are? We're down here. <gasps> Daisy and Poppy put a spell on us. And we need a bit of help. Your Majesty. <laughs> we do seem to have got ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Uh, Yes, the twins are a little high-spirited today. Could you calm them down, please? Of course. No! Don't open that door! Ah! Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all of the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me too. <coughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready. <coughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on to what? Oh, no. We can't reach Nanny Plum. Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough. Oh, no. Lost in space. And I never even went to the toilet. Here's your lasso, Ben. Thanks, Dad. Keep still. I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you. Well, hey. You rescued. 
rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf, honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fairy's honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, there will be no picnic on the moon. <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh, you've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! <laughs> Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree! There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> in a castle, Lucy. Come and see! Wow! A real fairy castle! This monkey is over a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> and this clown is over two hundred years old. <laughs> Apparently, they were made at the Elf Factory by someone called the Wise Old Elf. We know the Wise Old Elf. <gasps> you know the Wise Old Elf? What's he like? He's wise. He's old. He's... He's a grumpy old elf that's a bit clever. This is my favourite toy. A clockwork fairground ride. But sadly, it's broken. Don't worry, I can mend it. I don't think so. It needs to be seen by an expert. Elves are experts, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and I can help you, Ben. Rawr! Don't touch! These toys must not be touched by children. We'll have to touch it to mend it. Um, okay. There, it's mended. Okay. 
Boom! <laughs> King and Queen Marigold's castle isn't boring at all. Yes, actually, it's quite fun, isn't it? Choo choo! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about make me a birthday card super duper quick? <laughs> it worked! Come on, silly paintbrushes. Got all day. Right. You naughty paintbrushes. I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam, pop, zip, pow. More, bigger, faster, now. <laughs> There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Mummy! Help! Help! Goodness me! Mummy! Make the magic stop! Thunder and lightning, north winds blow! Magic spell, away you go! Nanny, you stopped it. Yes, but I've had to stop all the fairy magic in the castle. Oh. <coughs> Mrs Witch, if you don't do magic these days, then what do you do? I'm retired. So you don't chase elves or fairies anymore then? Oh, no. I just... Look, witches don't do anything. They just smell a bit funny and make horrible cakes. What? As for magic, they're completely harmless. She probably can't even do a simple transformation spell. Yes, I can. Then why don't you change this horrible wallpaper? That's... Or make these seats more comfortable. Ow. Stop it, Nanny. You could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs. Witch. Maybe not, but she was. <laughs> Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh. Is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Can we help you, Nanny Plum? Of course. <laughs> Uh, Nanny Plum, what's in this medicine of yours? Oh, just blackberry juice, lemon and sugar and a few other things. Nanny, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And un rond de grenouille. 
What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh! Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly. It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Ugh. Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. Oh, this should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Hi, Gaston. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. What did he say? Nanny Plum can speak ladybird language. <coughs> Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. <coughs> Nanny Plum, can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. <coughs> <laughs> Here we are, the royal picnic spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Ho oh, oh, ho, how charming. I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. <laughs> Bingo! Ho, ho, ho! We'll make an elf of you yet, Holly. Can we build a castle? Big enough for us to go inside. <laughs> we need a huge bucket to make a sandcastle that big. Uh, like that one. That's a very huge bucket. It must have been left by big children. There aren't any big people here now. Good thing. Big people have big feet and you never know where they're going to step. Look, they've left some spades. 
Let's build a big sand castle for Princess Holly. It can be our thank you for lunch. Good idea, Mr Elf. Can I help? No, no, no. Please just relax and enjoy watching elves doing what elves do best. What do elves do best? Elves are best at making things. And, and we're, we're elves. Deep ho, deep ho, deep ho, deep deep ho, deep 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 ho, deep ho. Over you go, over you go. Princess Holly. Would you do the honours by tapping the bucket? <laughs> lift ho, lift ho. Bingo! Can we go inside? But there isn't a door. I'll soon sort that out. <laughs> There's your door. <laughs> Since this is our very own castle... Uh... Hello. <gasps> You're meant to be asleep. You're not supposed to see us. Who are you? Uh, I'm Holly. I'm a fairy princess. A real fairy princess with wings and a wand and everything. <laughs> yes. And this is Ben. He's an elf. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Oh, I wrote you a letter. Thank you. Oh, it's so little. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm, I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. You! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Ah! Big people! Ah! Ooh, a little toy bus. Ah! Please put us down. Oh! It's OK. It's Lucy. She's just a little girl. She's a very big little girl. She's ginormous. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Ooh, more little fairies. I'll have you know I'm not a fairy. I'm an elf. Have you got wings? Can you fly? Elves do not fly. Can you do magic spells? Elves don't do magic. Oh, so what can you do? Elves do, um, lots of things. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> and we're fairies. Wands away, please, fairies. A farm is no place for magic. <laughs> As you can see, Lucy, this is a rather bossy elf. <laughs> Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. 
These are chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us. Don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said... Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means... Bah. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hot. Oh, no! Pippin's run away! Oh, um, how sad! How terribly sad! Pippin! Pippin! We've lost Pippin! What a dreadful turn of events! Pippin's gone! Gone forever! Wait, King Thistle! I can get your hamster back! Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben! It's no trouble! Elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf! <laughs> Ready, Gaston? <laughs> Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? How will that help? Wait and see. I'll be right over. Hello, King Thistle. Where's this hamster of yours? My hamster? Here's Pippin. <laughs> Pippin likes you. No, oh, charmed, I'm sure. Bring in the wheel. Right ho! Goodness! Where's that going to go? It's hideous! <laughs> the things we do for our pets, eh, King Thistle? It's.